guys, John here with Survival Dispatch, and today we're going to talk about a solar recharge system. Uh, we've had quite a few questions with regards to um, how to set up a, a complete uh, solar system uh, for a backpack, a car, uh, even your EDC bag. So I thought I'd walk you through uh, a lot of gear that I have that, that's all rechargeable and some of the systems that I've put together. So first, we're going to just kind of go down the table here. So we're going to go from chargers to cables to batteries to gear. Um, and and in this is a complete system and I'll kind of show you what, what I carry uh, in my everyday bag and my get home bag. Um, so we'll kind of just kind of walk through um, and some of the additional accessories that I include in here as well. So uh, starting at, you know, the the base end, the, the solar panel itself. Uh, tons of fantastic companies out there um, that, that make a bunch of really good solar panels. I brought just a couple different ones that I had uh, just to, to show a couple of different options. So you can go with kind of the, the flat style. This is a Goal Zero Nomad 7 Plus. Uh, it folds up really small, really thin. Uh, kind of think of it as like a half the size of like an iPad mini or something. So super thin, folds out. Um, this is the one that I keep in my, my get home bag. I like it because it has, number one, it has a kickstand in the back. So it kind of stands up and keeps it stood up. Um, and then it has an accessory pocket in the back also that you can keep all of your cables in it. Really good at uh, keeping everything in one place. So you're not like solar charger over here, batteries, power, you know, cables, everything everywhere. Kind of keeps it all included. Um, so this is what I keep in my bag. Um, the Goal Zero Nomad set plus it does a really good job i think goal zero makes uh fantastic products and uh, it also has these uh grommets in the corner um so you can you can attach this either way you can you know you put it any way you want in your bag um, but the the grommets allow you to attach it so this includes one of the first accessories that i want to make sure people have in their solar system and that's some s beaner clips uh these are fantastic at quickly just you know attaching them to the corners um of the solar panel, and then you can hang it. You can hang it from a tree. You can hang it from the back of your backpack while you're hiking. Um, you know, it just makes it really easy to to latch it to things. Um, so always make sure you have some S beaners uh, and maybe even a little bit of paracord, like just a, just a couple of feet, just to hang it if you need to rig something up. Um, but this is kind of your traditional panel system uh, that they work really well. And you know, the thing with solar chargers is we're trying to get as much panel surface as possible to gather as much light. Uh, uh, and to transfer it or gather as much sun as, as possible and transfer that into electricity. Um, another option would be something you, you see these all over the place. There's tons of people, that, uh, tons of companies that make them. It's a smaller solar panel on the top of like a USB uh, battery pack. So these are kind of cool. There's a bunch on Amazon. We'll leave some links below. Um, they usually have some integrated flashlights in them and things like that, but they work pretty simple. Once again, I've attached a carabiner to this one and this one lives in a smaller bag of mine just because I don't have as much space for a system like this. Um, you can throw these in the dash of your car and they'll charge really well. As you can see, the lights are flashing right now just because of the studio lights. It's actually enough to get both of these panels here you can see the lights on both of them uh, to to start you know producing uh, power for your electronics so uh, you know so definitely you know another option would if you're looking for something smaller is a built-in battery pack with a solar panel so those are the two I think the two best things uh, going right now is is one of these two options there's some that roll up um, as well, those work pretty good. Um, they can be a little flimsy at times. So then moving in, next step, next step is cables, getting power from the solar system uh, into a battery pack or a device. So cables are extremely important. And, um, you know, make sure that you have cables that that work for what you're trying to do. So for this uh, system here in my get home bag, uh, one of the purposes is to hang this on the back of my pack while I'm moving. So for that instance, I'm gonna probably need a longer cable in order to get it from my back all the way over so that if I'm charging my phone or something like that, um, I can even leave everything in my pack. I can just plug this in. I can run this cable into uh, my backpack and, uh, and things can be charging while I'm moving. Um, so, you know, a longer cable can be good. Um, and I just have a, a bunch of cables here that I brought. Um, you can also find, I have two of them here. Oh, and then your, your other option is a really short cable, super light, super compact. These are great if you want to plug it into a battery pack and then say, plug your phone into it. 
so that you can use it. You got a really short cable. You don't have to deal with like a three foot cable dangling everywhere. So there's times where I have short cables uh, in my bag as well. What I really like for get home bags, bug out bags, things like that are our multi cables. So this is one that I got off of Amazon uh, that I've used for quite a while. They, they have a USB end on one, on one end. And then like this one here has a USB-C, a micro USB, and an iPhone uh, lightning port cable also. And you can just literally, it has a micro USB is the main plug. And then you can plug on the other two and you can charge whatever, whatever device or transfer information from whatever device you need. Um, so that gives you, you know, a couple of, of different options in one cable. Uh, another one, and this is just a, I, I, you know, accessories organization is, is key in my world. So everything usually goes in bags. Um, I've showed this quite a few times and people like it. This is another option. It's kind of a, an octopus kind of thing, um, but it has a USB cable. So that's your, your input. And then this has micro USB, uh, two micro USBs. You can charge multiple ports at one time, a mini USB, which some devices still use a mini USB, a lightning port and a USB-C. So within this one device, I can charge pretty much any device that, that I come across, you know? Um, so you can have, hey, one cable to, to do it all. So that's, you know, that's another option. Um, so, you know, so we gotta make sure that we have the right cables for, for what we're trying to do. Now, let's move down to the next step, uh, battery packs. So how I run my system is I try to take all the power I collect from my solar panels and I dump it into a battery. Uh, from that battery bank, I then start charging my devices off of that. So battery packs can come in any shape and size, fit the one, make, find the one that fits your bag the best. A um, couple of options. And, and these are just, you know, ones that I picked up. I have multiple ones. This is a, a goal, uh, GoPro one, actually it's branded, you know, you can find this somewhere else. The reason why I like this one is it had two USB outputs so I could charge two devices at one time and it, and it was fairly light. Um, I think this is like a 10,000 milliamp, somewhere a 6,000 milliamp battery. So this is something small. I keep this in my EDC bag. If I'm on an airplane or something, I need to charge my phone or something like that. It's lightweight. I can handle it. I can even throw this in my back pocket and keep using my phone. So I like to have a lightweight option. Um, what I keep in like a bug out bag is something similar to this. This is the Goal Zero uh, 10 Plus, Guide 10 Plus. Um, what's cool about this is, and there's there's quite a few different brands. Don't think I'm just, you know, a Goal Zero only kind of guy. Um, but this actually utilizes just standard rechargeable AA batteries as, as its source of storing power. Um, so I have two options. I can keep the batteries in here and I can use the USB plug to charge devices, or I can actually take the batteries out when they're charged and input them into things like flashlights or radios, uh, GPS, you know, whatever, whatever takes a AA battery. So it's kind of a multi-use uh, item that allows me to keep uh, more more electronics going. And I know some of you guys are gonna say, hey, in a survival situation, you know, electronics might not be working. Y yeah, that's, that could be the case, you know, but we really don't even know what an EMP would do if it went off. All of these portable electronics might still be working. So, um, you know, so I kind of go with that theory to, to begin with. Um, so I like to, to carry this as well. Um, and then what I usually keep in, in, a, in a longer range bag is a big, huge anchor 26,000 milliamp battery. This thing is just a powerhouse of a battery. It's not too heavy um, and it can keep all of my electronics going for probably a week, um, depending on the use. Um, you know, I can charge my iPhone off of this thing 10 times. So, uh, it's really cool. It's a great battery. This is the Anchor um, Power Core Plus. That's what I want to make sure. And it actually comes with a charger. One of the reasons why I like this is if you found power to charge it, uh, you can charge this whole thing through 30 uh, watts and it'll charge it in three hours. So most of the time it would take about 24 hours or so to charge this thing. But with the, uh, the Anchor uh, Power Core charger also uh, it does it in three hours which is awesome so if you can just you know duck in somewhere plug it in even for an hour you get tons and tons of power to use so that's 
I include that also. But um, but yeah, so I love this thing uh, just because it can keep so many devices going for so long. Um, so you know we've gone from uh, stealing power from the sun, transferring it to a to a battery pack through cables. Now we're going to talk about devices, and this is one thing that in the last couple of years, you know, devices have really started to lean more towards you know rechargeables more and more and more uh, you're starting to see a lot more lithium ion batteries start to take over and I think it's just the future it's what it's going to be um, a lot more companies are starting to to offer rechargeable flashlights you know just five or six years ago there were hardly any rechargeable flashlights that were worth using um, and now it's it's pretty much common so you know you got things like my EDC light right now is a Surefire Stiletto micro USB rechargeable. So I can you know, grab a battery pack and charge my phone if I'm on the road. Um, if it's a, you know, a survival situation, I know that I can keep my EDC light going and going uh, just by, by recharging it. I got a couple of other options here. Uh, this is a 4.7s. Uh, this, is, this model's been discontinued. You can still find them though every now and then. I, I always love this light. It's the uh, four sevens MMRX, and once again, micro USB, uh, fantastic flashlight, um, and you know I can plug this thing in and keep it going. Um, another light is the O light. This is the R50 Seeker. Now this one uh, is a little different. I keep this in my EDC bag just because I like to have a, a bigger flashlight. And but the the thing with this is it actually takes a proprietary charger that's kind of a magnetic uh, clip. So you know there there are a couple options. As far as a get home bag, I try to keep it as simple as possible. So that's why I tend to stay with things like the four sevens or the Surefire. Um, Phoenix makes some that all use micro USB chargers, so I don't have to carry an additional cable. Um, but in my EDC bag, you know I just I decide to to carry it. But another option is an Olight. Um, one thing that a lot of people overlook is, is a headlamp. This is a, a Petzl, and within this Petzl, they run their core battery. Um, and the core battery, once again, I mean right there, micro USB-C, so, or micro USB. So I can keep, I can keep my headlamp going, uh, you know, as long as, I, as long as I have battery in a power bank, or as long as I can uh, get power from the sun, you know, as long as it's a sunshiny day, um, you know, I can plug all these items in direct or I can plug them into my battery pack. Um, Garmin Inrange Mini, this allows me with my cell phone, and let me take that back, cell phone is the first thing we're going to probably try to keep, keep going, you know, um, because it has so much information in it and we utilize it so much on a, on a daily basis that, you know, this is going to probably be the first item we First of all, it's the first item that the battery usually goes dead on because we use it so much. Second, it's the item that we're going to want to keep going. So, um, but in conjunction with my cell phone, the Garmin InReach Mini pretty much turns my cell phone into a sat phone. So I can send text messages um, through satellite, not have to use any type of uh, antennas or relay stations, anything like that, which are on the ground. Um, and you might say like, hey, why is that important? Well, usually... Anytime there's a huge influx of people using cell towers, they start to drop. So you start to think of, just think about going to like a baseball game or a big convention or something. Usually cell phone coverage uh, takes a huge, huge hit because there's so many people packed into a stadium that it just overwhelms cell towers. Uh, and then you take an event, say like 9-11, um, or it might be a hurricane event, like we just had in, in Panama City with the hurricane that went through, there is literally probably a hundred mile radius where there were no cell phone service at all because of cell phone towers were knocked down. So, you know, InReach Mini allows me to, to pass all that, uh, go straight to a satellite and send out text messages to people to, you know, let them know I'm okay and things like that. Um, Garmin E-Trex GPS, once again, takes AA batteries, so I can take it right out of the Goal Zero guide. I can pop them in there and, and keep going. Um, for those that you know, want to get more serious, PVS-14, 
Once again, runs on a AA battery, so I can keep it going uh, with rechargeable batteries. And then scanners, uh, ham radios, walkie-talkies, whatever it might be, everything pretty much has an option to have a micro USB plug-in battery. It might be an optional thing that you have to look for. Um, or they take rechargeable AA batteries. So, you know, it's trying to find gear that, that fits into your system because the last thing you want is to have one piece of gear that has a proprietary battery um, that you can't charge because then you got to carry additional batteries. So, you know, if I had something like my scanner, um, but it took proprietary batteries, now I'm throwing batteries that I can't get the power out of it to spread to any other device. And that's what I find extremely important with this system is, the ability to take the power from you know, my battery bank and, and really choose what I need uh, to focus on. Hey, I might really need a flashlight uh, because I'm moving a lot at night. Hey, I might really need my scanner because I gotta keep that thing going to keep getting information. So I get to choose what, what I get to keep going. Um, and then, I mean, we can even go to, to newer devices like a, uh, an electric uh, lighter that, that I can once again just plug in with, with a USB cable. And um, you know now I even have a, a way of getting a fire started that's, that's an electronic what means. Um, so super cool. Um, tons of different options with regards to uh, devices. And you know it's one of those things where you really have to determine what your needs are and then start to fit the, the items that best fit into that category. And this is something that, this is not one setup. I don't carry this all in one bag. This, is, this was took, taken out of my EDC bag, one of my get home bags, um, and just kind of showing you some of the devices that, that I use and the system that I use. Um, but you gotta make sure that you have the four steps. The solar chart that's actually going to uh, capture the energy correct cables in order to get that power to either a battery bank or your devices. Those are the four stages that you got to make sure that that you have covered and you know and that fit into your system. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you guys are looking for more information, make sure you click the link below for our Survival Dispatch Insider. It's a monthly subscription that we do that covers even it covers a thousand times more information than I'm going over right now. If you've got any comments on this video, feel free to leave them below. Make sure you hit the like button. And until next time, be safe.